Hello, Wes Bryan here with IT Pro TV, and in this episode of How to Get Started in IT, I'm going to tell you about the seven skills you should know when getting started. So let's go ahead and get started with the seven basic skills. The very first one is going to be a group of tech skills, and top of the list is, well, basic computer skills. You need to be able to ha know how to do things like web browsing, Sending and receiving email is very important. Things like good password management. Have you ever used video conferencing software like something like Skype before? Well, if you haven't, you need to get familiar with it. Things like basic word processing is really, really important. Now, number two on the list is what I call language of the company. All right, being able to speak the language of the job. Keep in mind, you might be the proxy between the IT team and the company's employees. So translating the lingo of IT for end users is another valuable skill that's really in high demand. Being familiar with the environment, the work environment, that goes a very long way into helping assist you in that. The third one I would say is important as well, and that's identifying the software a company uses to support its business goals. What software platforms is the company using? Well, here's where you can do a little passive investigative work researching the company. You can ask an employer or maybe even an employee. Most companies have an online presence. How about visiting the company website? For example, is your company using something like Microsoft Office 365? Maybe the cloud platforms such as AWS or Azure. Are they using video conferencing software like Zoom or maybe collaborative software like Slack? Automated billing systems, payment systems. A little knowledge about each of these makes you more attractive to the company and this doesn't mean you have to rush out and get certified in every platform. Platform. Email marketing systems, customer relation management, enterprise resource planning. However, of course, that's an option too, but keep in mind that's a pretty lofty goal. Business intelligence, business continuity planning, <gasps> enterprise application integration. Now, on the tech skill side, remember you can set yourself apart by number one, having basic computer skills. Number two, identify the language, not just of IT, but the company itself. Remember, it's not a one size fits all hat. Every company is different. Being familiar with the software company comes in at number three. What platforms are your, is your company using? Now, that's not the only thing. Not just tech skills. Another thing that's very, very important are what are called soft skills. It's important to have effective communication and professionalism skills. Asking good questions. Is this issue happening to you? Is it happening to your group? Or is it happening to the entire network? Active listening, speaking to the level of your audience. Remember earlier I said translating the lingo of IT for end users? Can you explain it to your grandma? If you can, chances are you can explain it to everybody in your company. Number two on this list is problem solving. It is very important that you have the ability to work through an issue. In other words, applying a systematic troubleshooting methodology. For instance, troubleshooting is so in, uh, important that it's taught in quite a few of the CompTIA courses we teach here at IT Pro TV. Next up, a very important soft skill is resourcefulness. Seek out the information that you need, maybe to support an issue, maybe an end user, or even a supervisor. Researching what forums, FAQs, vendor websites to visit when a problem arises. Remember, a simple Google search can yield a lot of results. Popular enterprise productivity software. And being able to find the solution to an or an answer is a great skill to possess. Now, all of these skills that we've talked about so far, the tech skills, the three under there, communication and professionalism, resourcefulness and problem solving, they all lead to one of the most valuable skills that you need and that's collaboration. Being able to work with and amongst multiple people or teams is important. Think about the names we hear commonly like DevOps, SecOps, NetOps. These names imply interdepartmental collaboration strategies to more effectively accomplish the goals of the company. These are some of the skills that you can set yourself apart once you have them under your belt. These are my seven skills. What are your favorite skills? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. And remember, I've been your host, Wes Bryan, for this edition of How to Get Started in IT.